Good. All right, uh, well, ask me the question. How is the government immoral? Great question. All right, I'm gonna ask you three simple questions and then very briefly talk about the hidden violence behind government and its immorality. In your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve your personal problems? Not unless I have to. Not unless you have to, right? And that would be the second question, right? The yeah. second question would be, with the exception of self-defense of yourself and others, would you consider it wrong and immoral to initiate that violence? Yeah. And would you also consider it wrong and immoral to violently force your ideas onto other people? Yeah. Alright, perfect then. So you just tell me in your day-to-day -day life you have like a lot of different ways to solve your problems without using violence. And you have this more integrity against that violence, against the initiation of violence. Yeah. And as a community of individual people here in Richmond, we're taught that the only way we can affect any kind of change, that we want to find any kind of solution to our community is the government. You know, they're told that the only way to do that is through voting. So we vote. We vote with our ideas and trying to solve problems and in effect we elect a politician. Right? That politician, his or only job is to legislate those ideas into laws. Uh -huh. And then those laws of ideas are backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint. Right? I'd take cannabis, for example. If I were to smoke a plant, I'd be kidnapped, arrested, thrown into a cage, a prison. And at any point I resist or refuse or try to escape or don't agree with those ideas, I'd be met with more violence or sometimes shot, murdered. Right? And at the same time, it's even funded through more violence because at no point can you say, I want to help the poor, but I don't want to fund war. Right? You have no freedom of economic choice. You have to give your money. You have to give up your property. You have to pay your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of choice, they wouldn't threaten to send you to another cage if you didn't pay your taxes. Indeed. Right? <laughs> and, Indeed. Right? And, and Indeed. that's the hidden violence of government. Government only solves solve problems through one way. One way. And that's to the threat of end use of violence to solve any problems. Yep. Versus the myriad of different ways that we already engage in our day to day life, volunteering to interact, to find non violent solutions to our problems in our lives. Right? Uh, so, so what do you think? What, what do you have any uh, questions, comments? Nah, that's just deep and it's the truth though. It's the truth, isn't it? <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah, well, government has a monopoly on law. They have a monopoly mm -hmm. on security. They have a monopoly on roads, on schools. You're not allowed to compete. You're not allowed to cancel, unsubscribe your payment like Netflix, for example, last year. They tried to raise the prices $10 overnight and people were like, fuck that, I'm gonna cancel, unsubscribe, go to Hulu, right? Yeah. But if the services that the government forces us to, to pay for and, and, and accept, we can't unsubscribe, we can't cancel payment. We can't say, well, I'd rather go with someone that's not going to be abusive and harmful. I'd rather have a security that's not going to throw me into a cage for a victimless crime, yeah. right? Uh, all right, so uh, let me give you a pamphlet then. Uh, so a lot of this stuff is about anarchy. Anarchy means uh, we can have, anarchy by definition means without rulers, like like in science, right? Like anions and cations, it means without. Yeah. Archy means rulers, like monarchy, one ruler. Archy, anarchy just means without rulers. We can have rules, we just don't need the political rulers, yeah. right? We can have communities of preferences. You can have apartment building complexes, 420 friendly, and one right across the street that's not, yeah. right? We can have all this stuff, we can coexist, you know? We can have all these different beliefs as long as no one's violently forcing any ideas onto each other. That's true. Yeah? All right, cool. Uh, well, yeah, pleasure to meet you then. Yeah, if you have any more questions, um, on the back of this pamphlet, we have our website, Liberate RVA. We get together, pretty much philosophize and trying to find, I guess, community solutions outside of government. We're pretty much turning away from government and turning to yeah. our community here. All right. Thanks cool. for letting us record you. Man. Yeah, no problem. No problem. So that's so that's the hidden violence of government. You know, it awesome. it uh, compromises our own moral integrity. You know, it, it tricks us in, into going to the government instead of turning to our own community to solve problems. So what do you think? You have uh, any questions, comments? No, I believe sure. everything you say. I agree with it 100. Yeah? yeah. All right, cool. Oh, all right, that's great. You, you see the matrix. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. I have um. And a lot of this philosophy is called anarchy. By definition, it means without rulers, like in science. Uh, anions and cations. An just means without. Archy means rulers, oh, yeah. without rulers. We can have rules, there's just no need for political rulers. There's just no need for city council members arbitrarily deciding and dictating how best your life should, should be run. Only you can decide that for yourself.